Sunday morning again. Oh, I take that back. It's Sunday afternoon. It's 1237. We um, slept in a bit because we're kind of on Hawaii time still. So, but that's fine. I got the last little laundry in the dryer. Everything is put away. You can see we've got some leftover water from the plants. We used three of these gallon bottles of water and the plants only used a half of it. So we're going to use the rest of it to water some outdoor plants. We do have one that didn't quite make it. Maybe it'll come back. I don't know. Anyway, so um, we've got everything all cleaned up. We are going to be heading out to the grocery store. Bob's taking a shower and we've got to go run some errands. We don't have any food in the house, so we've got to take care of that. And I gained three pounds while I was gone. So bone broth for me for the next couple nights for dinner. Anyway, all right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. I'm just waiting for traffic to clear. I'm gonna go to the, my doctor's office this morning, hopefully get my staples removed. And then I've gotta go pick up our mail and I need to go run a couple of other errands. I already posted to Patreon this morning um, some vacation pictures. I have another special project I'm working on that the patrons will get for free, um, but it will be available for purchase in my Etsy, Etsy shop. It is a digital download, so it'll only be a couple of bucks. But I did take some interesting sort of textural close-up shots of things while I was in Hawaii that I think would make an interesting collection of stickers or backgrounds or something. And so, I'm going to work on those um, <clears throat> sometime this week, hopefully today. I'd like to say today, but I have a lot of stuff to do. Um, but sometime this week, I hey also everybody. have, it is just before 10 a.m. on uh, Tuesday, October 4th. Um, it was the first day since I hurt myself that I haven't had a hat or, or something on my head or my hair wrapped up in a ball to cover the wound or something. It's all scabbed over. According to the doctor, healing nicely, so we're all good. Um, anyway, I let the last of my friends know privately about said head wound. I'd forgotten to message somebody and let her know, so we did that this morning. I'm going to, did you just hear the clanking? I have donations in the back of the car, so I'm gonna go take care of that first. Then we have a bunch of random things I think I can get all done at Target because I have to pick up medication there anyway. So I think I can do it all at once there, get a big chunk of stuff off of my list done today, and then go home and do the rest of the list. And I got so much done today. I got some more errands run today. I got my pill box refilled up for the month, then realized I had to order one of my medications. And I have just been at the pharmacy today. So now anyways, I guess I gotta go back again in a day or two. Anyway, I also got some chores, chores done. I got, I'm trying to fix my thing. It's not really working well. Ugh. Okay, I got um, bread made. It's almost done. Too bad it's not smell-o-vision because you guys could smell it. It's, the whole house smells like bread. I know, right? Um, Got a birthday card from my friend who's coming out for a visit and um, a couple other things. Uh, the cleaning lady is here downstairs, our friend Liddy. She's here working and I got some unexpected purging done today after a really great chat with my cousin. I purged and cleaned out mediums, uh, punches and embossing, um, punches, dies and embossing folders. Like, that was unexpected. Um, I was able to consolidate some things, get some things out of the 
closed supply closet and put out on the floor out here over there, which is great. Now there's a pile in the big closet in the guest room that said friend who's coming for a visit and my sister will be here about the same time. They're going to both need to go through and decide if there's any of it that they want. And if they don't, then it's going to have to go away, 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 away. All right. I'm going to go back to trying to catch up on my soap opera. And I don't know what else. Just sit and chill for a minute. I'll be back. So before we left, um, ordered a tube of Holbein's watercolor in peach black, which I've never heard of before. Um, so I got that before I left. And then um, today when I was doing the purging, I got out my Daniel Smith ivory black because I wanted to see what the difference between those two were. And then I was like, what other blacks do I have? So I have a Winsor Newton black. I have um, a dot card from Daniel Smith um, that also has lamp black on it and lunar black. And then I have Payne's gray and indigo, which is like a dark blue and Payne's gray is lit like a dark blue black. Um, and then neutral tint, which is like a dark uh, gray, transparent like gray. I want to do a comparison of them. So I'm going to work on that maybe tomorrow. I got everything gathered. Um, Cause yeah, I don't use a lot of black in my watercolor, so I didn't have a lot of black. Um, but if the black is interesting enough, maybe I'll change that, right? All right, we'll see, I'll be back. So I think I might be channeling my friend Leslie McGrath and others of you who out there who like to make junk journals today. Although I've made my fair share of journals in the past, usually they're not the junk journal type of journals. Usually it's something with my favorite kind of sketching paper. Because, yeah, pretty picky. Anyway, I took all of my leftovers from my vacation. I made this little gem. I mean, it's very cute. So anyway, I'll put a couple of like pictures here. Um... I don't know what got into me, but there you go. Anyway, all right, I'll be back. Hey guys, it is Wednesday, October 5th. I almost said 6th. It's 3, 12 p.m. I spent the morning having a counseling session and then uh, printing a bunch of photos from our Hawaii trip to put into the little junk journal I made yesterday. Um, it took quite a few hours to get all the photos <laughs> printed. Um, my paper for my little um, pocket photo printer is um, old and so it's not printing great quality full color but you know what they kind of look old and distressed and I'm going to just go with it so anyway I'll work on assembling that later in the week I am just sitting here catching up on some my soap opera and stuff like that and um, just chilling out, which is usually what I do some form of after I have counseling. I go on the sketch walk. I just sit and veg in front of the tablet watching YouTube or something because my brain just can't go anywhere else. So anyway, we're going to go uh, grocery shopping later because I think we're going to barbecue this weekend and we need a couple of things. I have more prescriptions to put to pick up but I don't want to do it right now so I'll probably do it in the morning after I have breakfast and uh yeah that's I don't think we're going to be up to too much today I'm not even sure we're going to get walking in I think the walking is going to be at the grocery store so there's that all right that's it for the minute I'll be morning, everybody yes I'm back in the car um I need to go pick up some more medication. It seems like, I don't know why all our medications can't be ready at the same time, but anyway, I think this is the third time this week I've been over to pick up medication at CVS. I don't know. Anyway, I have to be really careful with my hair, not to yank on my scalp, because hashtag no more staples. <laughs> anyway, my head feels bruised hello. I mean, you know, um, but 
I'm not feeling lightheaded or incoherent or having a um, headache or nauseous or like any of those things I haven't been since I, I haven't been ever since even right after the accident so there's that I did have a counseling session yesterday and I realized during and after the session since the accident I'm having trouble sleeping again and I'm pretty sure it's trauma from the accident. I have snippets of memories of dreams of the accident that I, I think I'm dreaming about the accident. Um, according to my counselor, that's totally normal and to be expected. So I've just been practicing um, my breathing exercises that she's given me and that seems to help. So anyway, yeah, fun times. So we're gonna go pick up the medication, get some steps in hopefully while we're out. And I've gotta put gas in the car. Um, my sister comes into town tomorrow. My friend Leslie McGrath comes in Saturday morning. And um, yeah, it's gonna be a fun week, I think. Just going a little bit of a walk uh, before lunch. I haven't done a neighborhood walk since we got back from Hawaii. Uh, not because of my head injury, um, other than it feeling bruised, it, I feel fine. Oh, a little tired, but that's not because of the head injury. <laughs> it's because I'm not sleeping super well, because of the trauma, I'm having nightmares about the accident, to be frank, and the time change doesn't help, so anyway. Um, I haven't done a walk since we got back because of all of that. Plus, there's just been too much to do. Um, but I have some time right now, so I'm going to go take a walk. Bob has stuff to do after work today, so he's actually not going to be able to go walking. And um, I don't want to miss out on my steps. So we're going to go see what we can see. I didn't bring my sketchbook with me, although I was tempted. I think not today. Maybe tomorrow. And uh, for sure, at least once while my friend Leslie McGrath is here. And yeah, let's go see what's going on in the neighborhood. I'll be Tell back. You. And the squeaking is my new pair of shoes, by the way. Um, my phone and it's not on. Anyway, I have been um, doing a little bit of an experiment. So I understand the appeal of peach black. So I told you all before I left for vacation, I bought some Windsor Newton peach black and that I was gonna test it uh, against at least a couple of other colors that I already had in my stash. I chose the Daniel Smith neutral tint, which is like a transparent black gray, and then ivory black, which is another shade of black. Um, I actually don't have that many blacks because I don't traditionally use black a lot. Um, ivory black is a very browny black and it doesn't really necessarily appeal to me. Um, I like peach black. I can see using it going forward. Hold on. This one is the neutral tint. Um, this is the peach black and this is ivory black. I prefer, and I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell on camera, the difference between the colors, but this one's very yellowy browny, and this one's very bluey and cool. I do like this one a lot. I also took um, one of my water brushes. I have some uh, water brushes I got off of Amazon. I was trying a new brand and it came with a couple of flat ones. This one, which I haven't um, done anything to, um, and then one that was wider. I took the wider one and I chopped up the end of the bristles. I rounded them just a little bit and then I chopped into them that way to just make them uneven. And that gives you more of a fan brush look and I'm able to get these kind of textures. Oops, let me actually get some paint on the brush because that would be helpful. Which are very um, indicative of foliage and you can also get these by just swiping down, which could be hair or fur or palm fronds, which is totally what I wanted. Now, I think I have another one of these wide flat ones in my uh, um, other case of brushes. So I'm gonna go dig it out and maybe I'll show you exactly how I did this because I can see wanting another one of these. This is great. Okay, 
I'm gonna repeat myself because I'm not sure I caught that on camera. So I do indeed have another wide flat brush. This came, as I said, in a set, and this um, is just an off-brand. I'll link both the ones I bought down below. Um, this one is a Derwent. Now, they both seem to work fine. Um, I don't have a problem with either one. They don't seem to leak or anything like this. This one I took to Hawaii, and it did just great. The only reason the Derwent aren't my favorite, and I do love them, and I'm a fan of Derwent products, is they're expensive. Um, but they do have a flat, and the Pentel, which is my favorite because it's um, inexpensive, does not have a big flat one like this. So what I did was I just rounded the tip of the bristles just a little bit with some sharp scissors. And I found it was easiest to sort of splay the bristles out a little bit. Now the only difference in doing this between this and the other one is this one is wet because I've been using it. Like I said, I brought this one with me to Hawaii. Doesn't have to be perfect because you want it to be uneven. So then we're gonna go in at a slight angle. So I'm tilting the scissors that way. And take a look at it see what you think and if there's any spots you feel like you missed or that need more texture do it one more time and we should end up with something like that Let's switch you to this way. Okay, so now we'll use some of our leftover blacks over here. Get the bristles wet. And see, that's what you want. That's what you want. And yes, you can probably get these with a plain flat brush but it's just a little easier to do if the ends of your bristles are not even and you get something that's a little more interesting. So anyway, I know I'm crazy, I'm aware. Okay, I spent most of yesterday afternoon printing photos from Hawaii to put into the junk journal I made. So we're gonna sit and do that and I'm gonna stick the photos in and I'm gonna stick little pieces of journaling paper in and get that sort of all prepped to just sit down one evening and just do all the journaling. That's how I'm thinking I want to do it. But before I do that, I found two fortune cookie fortunes that were from right before we left, like the night before, I think. I smashed a penny while we were in Hawaii. A hula girl. I don't know if it's going to focus, but anyway. And then I found a card from the ABC store, and this is a scanner code from a fudge shop in Hawaii. Hawaii Fudge on Maui. They had good, good food. All right, so we're going to stick these in first. All right, and I'm going to play some... YouTube, well, not YouTube. I'm gonna play some of my soap opera while I'm doing that. I'll set you guys down somewhere so you can see what I'm doing and let's just get it done. I'll be back. <laughs>
It is 10.40 a.m. Friday, October 7th, I think. Hold on. Hold on. Yes, October 7th. Morning, everybody. It is 9.55 a.m. Saturday, October 8th. And yes. we are headed to the airport to pick my friend Leslie McGrath. My sister's here too, and we have a few days with my sister here where we're planning on going for some walks, doing some creative stuff. Elizabeth, my sister, has a journal she needs me to work on for her and um, decorate, and it ought to be a fun few days. Anyway, let's start off by getting Leslie at the airport. Hey Thanks. guys, we are here. Look who's with me. We are getting ready for, no, that's not all for eating. us. Yeah, we're eating. Eating, we're eating, 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 and more eating. Beck and Polyus are coming over. And, and, and getting ready for the drinking as well. Oh, yeah, the drinking. For those who drink, like not me. Me. But yeah. Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've already done some art. We spent a bit of time in the art room. Just taught my sister how to distress paper. So fun and easy. I think she might be hooked. I don't know yeah. that that's a good thing or not. Yay! But yeah, it was a fun project. Anyway, we're looking forward to the week ahead. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna go to the Rose Garden tomorrow. We're gonna to go oh, maybe mm -hmm. to the Japanese Garden, oh. which is right there. Mm -hmm. We Why have not? a salvage place we're gonna to go to. It's gonna, that sounds gonna be a lot of fun. So I'll be back. Coconut, kawaii coconut. This one in my top for those I'm wondering, we're doing some rum tasting, rum from Maui. Well, no, you by oh, we, I, I mean them, not me. <laughs> Yeah, what I do. Right. Shout out to Cola Room. Yes. Great. We love you, but I can't have you right now. Ooh. Sell an organ. Oh, so we can buy an organ. That's yeah. coconut. That one smells nice. Oh, that oh, smells really is, good, doesn't this it? This is pina colada, right? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Right? right? Pina colada. Oh, my there God. Go. <laughs> is that good? Now I could drink that. There you go. Oh yeah! Oh, absolutely! <laughs> oh, absolutely! This is absolutely. Good. Oh, this oh, is yeah. that is absolutely. I a see that in the future. <laughs> okay. You know, if we can get so when we lived in California, we used to get um, we used to get the uh, Bacardi mixes. We used to get the strawberry daiquiris and the. Um, They're hard to find. The tropical. Right? The tropical. What's the other one? The what did I just say? Tropical mix. Pina colada. Uh, pina colada. Yes. Yeah, and it was, it was white. It was so good. Yeah. <laughs> and can't, I can't find the pina colada up here. No. I, I've looked insane. in so many different places. They don't have the pina colada. If you know where to buy pina, pina colada mix, uh, the frozen stuff in Oregon, let him know. The frozen, like Comment the down it's already it's frozen. A, no, it's, a, it's no. It's, it's in a it's can. A, it's, it's in like a can. juice can. Oh. So this one ought to be interesting. This is Hawaiian kawaii coffee like this, flavor. Oh. But it's in white. And it says daiquiri. It said it says Bacardi pina coladas, and you open it up and it smells like coconut. I and remember it's those. Delicious. You know, you put it in a blender with some ice and rum. It's perfect. It's perfect. See, so. Jim's not Jim's not a coconut kind of guy, so this would be like right up my. So alley. this is Kauai coffee Kaloa rum. Oh, even better. This is good. Oh, oh, you oh yeah, you're drinking. Yeah, you're yeah, oh. too late. Oh, this is good. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, that would make a nice coffee drink. Yep. Wouldn't it? Yeah. You yeah. can drink this on the rocks straight. I would I would Pull drink up. coffee with that. Yeah. yeah. If I was gonna drink again and have rum, this, be, this is a really good one. Two in nope. there that hashtag drink. not sponsored. But no. if you want to, <laughs> I'm available. If you make an iced coffee. You yeah. put some of this in. This would be this great in nice oh, coffee. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Summer concerts. Uh, oh, yep. You know, it's 80 degrees outside. Maybe tonight yeah. we put Not some of this in a nice coffee. coffee. It's in their fridge. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are out walking. Leslie, Bob, and I and ending our evening with a walk with Lily. We have Lily for a couple hours and yeah, it's been a good week. I can't wait for the upcoming week. Leslie's gonna stay for a week to visit. We're gonna do art and do some other stuff. So anyway, I of course will film it what I can for the vlog. I hope, and I know it's getting kind of dark. You can't really see me, sorry. Anyway, I hope it's been a good one for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to leave any questions, comments, or concerns down below. The most important thing is stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.